Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at this problem here and um, we're going to calculate the normal stress on each segment from A to B and then from B to C we have two different diameters and 10,000 newtons uh, for the load. So let's use SOLIDWORKS to do the modeling and then um, we'll do the analysis. So let's begin. So first let's create a new part. Uh, the problem is in um, millimeters, so we're going to change the units to millimeters. Now let's create a new sketch. So this is going to be the first segment. And um, as I mentioned, this is 20 millimeters. Let's finish that up and let's give it some height. According to the problem, this is uh, 600 millimeters. So now we're going to use this phase to sketch the next segment, which is um, 15 millimeters. Is it okay? And um, according to the problem, this is going to be uh, 400 millimeters. So we can see how the part looks. And then let's compare to this one here. So 400 and 600 millimeters, 20 millimeters for diameter on the first segment and 15 millimeters for the other one. So now we are ready to um, start the simulation. So let's go to simulation, new study. We can keep the same name. You can rename as, as you wish. The first thing we have to do is let's apply a, um, a material. You can do, um, any material you want. For this case, I'm going to use uh, 1060 alloy with the uh, modulus of 60,000 uh, Newton millimeter square. Next, we're going to apply a fixed geometry and we are going to assume the part is fixed at this end. So let's hit OK. Next, we're going to apply a force. We have the force. Um, According to the problem is 10,000 newtons acting on this. So the force is acting on the opposite direction. So we need to reverse. And the force quantity is 10,000 newtons. And we can hit OK. We can do a quick mesh. You can refine as you wish. For now, uh, for this problem, we can just keep it with the default settings. So now we are ready to, to do the simulation and we can just run the study. Okay, so from here we can, um, we can see a few things. Um, we get the uh, bone misses, displacement and strain. What I like to do is, the first thing I like to do is double click on the bone misses stress, change the units to a uh, Newton millimeter square, and then right here, I like to change to floating so I can read better <clears throat> the values. And the um, for the displacement, let's do the same thing. Double click on displacement. And um, here you can change the, uh, the units if you wish. I think um, I'm good. The only thing I'm going to change is the floating value and then the strain value let's do the same thing okay so let's analyze the vomises stress um we have a range of 63.5 megapascals all the way to 6.6 .6, and we can see that the maximum values are acting somewhere here on this area because there is a stress concentration happening here. So for this problem, we're going to ignore this, um, this condition and we are going to um, define a new stress plot acting only on the um, X direction, the normal stress. And here's where, um, where we are going to use the um, the typical normal stress formula, which is force divided by area. And um, in order to see what the values are, we can use the uh, plot tools and then prop, and then we can click on this segment and then also this segment here. As you can see on the segment A to B, we have 
31.8 megapascals and then segment B2C 56.6 uh, megapascals. So let's take a look at uh, some hand calculations that we did in order to confirm these values. So the normal stress on each segment, as I mentioned, force over area, we have 31.83 and then segment B2C 56.59, which is exactly what we obtained in SOLIDWORKS. Um, once you find that we can also see the displacement, the total displacement here, and we get a uh, 0.696 uh, millimeters displacement uh, acting on, on the tip of the of the uh, component, which makes sense. You can also do some um, some animations here, uh, just to see how the part is going to be acting. You can reduce the speed right here, and uh, that's how I'm expecting the part to behave based on those um, those loading condition. So um, similarly, you can see the strain value. Strain value is just the um, it's just the stress, the normal stress divided by the uh, modulus of elasticity. Uh, once you put that on your calculator, you should be able to obtain these values right here. So we can see that the um, the um, the strain equivalent so let me see what we have here we change that to the x direction and then we can change that to floating increase some decimal places here so we have um, some values here so let's click proof so right here we have 0 0.0005 on this segment and 0.00094 on the other segment. So let's see, um, let's see the hand calculation here. So on segment, segment A to B, which is from here to here, we have uh, the normal stress divided by the E value. And then we have 0 0.00053, which is exactly what SOLIDWORKS is giving us. Um, and this is how you, um, simulate and calculate these values in um, SOLIDWORKS. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.